what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we got ourselves a really creative team that's going to be rocking out with life or ripe here alongside with speed swap calyrex you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel Seriously, yo, pause the video real quick, take a second out of you guys' time, just scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, help me grow as a content creator. Really does go a long way. I give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers, but this team right here, I actually found it on Twitter and it was made by a Japanese player, so it was kind of hard for me to kind of translate names and everything to find out who the team creator was, but his Twitter tagline goes as Jinj6031, so linked it down to his Twitter, will be down in the description below. Huge shout out to you for creating this team. I believe you use it in a Japanese tournament, but I do not know the full details, so if any of you guys know the team creator in full details let me know in the comment section down below but uh let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only shadow rider calyx really really good restricted mod one of the best in this format it has the as one ability alongside with the best item for it which is the focus ash then we got astral barrage expanded force protect and speed swap speed swap is going to work perfectly with this life or right here so we can actually give the right here the calyx's speed making it hit like a truck and be super fast at the same time Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Zacian over here with Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as item ability. Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Player Rough, Protect. Everything's pretty normal. I really do not need to go over it. Middle left is going to be Defiant Thunderous over here. With that Assault Vest, everybody's been using this Thunderous set, and it's just too good. It really is. It doesn't feel like a meta Pokemon, but honestly, it is. Everyone's using it. It's got Fly, it's got Wild Charge, Brick Break, and instead of the normal Dark Coverage move, it's rocking a Coverage Grass move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Indeedy over here. Great support mod for any team with the Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seeds. So one, it gets uh, Surge Control with its ability. And two, it's just a great support mod for redirecting shots for Follow Me. It's got Follow Me, Mystical Fire for its Lonesome Hitting move, which is a great special attack dropping move. And then we got Helping Hand to make allied Pokemon do more damage. Alongside Protect, because you know, you cannot go wrong with Protect in doubles. Fifth Pokemon in that bottom left-hand corner is going to be Storm Drink Ashton. With that expert belt. Storm Drink Astron is just perfect for the series because it really counters up on Kyogre and poses a threat to that to uh rain teams. It's got Earth Power, it's got Blizzard, it's got you on the put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not least, it's Rock and Protect. Final Pokemon is the heart and soul of the team. The reason why I picked it, we got Rhyperior over here. I feel like I haven't used Rhyperior in like a couple seasons. Like this this Pokemon I has not seen the light in forever. It's got solid rock as its ability. Life Orb, like I already mentioned, it's ground and rock type with high horsepower, rock wrecker, ice punch for coverage, and last but not least, you guys guessed it, it is rock and protect. But guys, there's the team preview. If you guys want to rent this code for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this Rhyperior Series 12 team. Before we get ripping in battle number one, something I forgot to mention in the team preview is if you guys want to send me rental codes, do so on my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. DM me, tweet at me, one or the other. I would love to get you guys' rental teams because I absolutely adore using you guys' teams. Same thing when Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet comes out. They're definitely going to bring rental codes back. So if you guys have teams for any of those games when they come out, throw them to me. I would love to get my hands on them to bring you guys a lot of content for that game. But, uh, wrapping into battle number one, going up against a Palkia and Zacian team with Amoongus, alongside with Incineroar and Landers, two Intimidate Pokemon, and then he has, uh, Grimmsnarl in the back end. So, I feel like Shadow Rider Calyrex could be good, alongside with, like, Thunderous. Defiant Thunderous could be a beautiful start here. A beautiful lead, because if they proc that Defiant, we can get buzzing out with that. So, I'm gonna go there, and I might go Zacian. Do I go Zacian, or do I just roll Shadow Rider Calyrex and not even bring Rhyperior? I feel like Rhyperior just really gets, a uh, Kind of countered up by a lot of these Intimidate Pokemon, but it does a lot of work all around. It is such a good Pokemon. It really is. It really is such a good Pokemon up against a lot of them, except for that Palkia. Palkia is scary. He's definitely a little scary Pokemon. So, you know, I'm going to go with these two. I think I'm just going to go with uh, both of these guys. And then bring Pokemon like Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least, we go Storm Drain Gastron. I'm kind of digging the Gastron. He seems like he could do some work. So, yeah, I'm going to go Gastro here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Right here, I'm sorry, buddy. I really want to showcase you, but not in this battle. He's just he's just not looking good up against a lot of these Pokemon, you know? Zacian can hit him hard, even though he's a defensible. Palkia can one-tap him, no problem. It's just a tough situation. It really is. But uh, hopefully we get right here in that second battle, and we get rolling out from there. But something I haven't been mentioning in my videos is, yo, you guys know I'm teamed up with SCG Short Circuit Gaming. We're bringing you guys 10% off Rogue Energy. Link down in the description below. Go pick you guys up some Rogue Energy. They have right, Rogue Hydration flavors as well. So if you guys are interested in that, we got 10% off using code Short Circuit. And we have 5% off Acquire Merchandise using code Short Circuit as well. Links to all that will be down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Even if you're not picking it up, maybe you guys will see something you like. But uh, he's going to go with Amoongus alongside with Palks. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, I definitely could have went uh, right here, but yeah, Palkia would have. We definitely did him dirty. I could Dynamax to others. 
Tanish really isn't too bad for a nice lovely Dynamax. He might go into... That's not a problem. He probably has Koba Berry. He probably is ripping with the Koba Berry. I'm just going to fly into Pal here. That's really what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stay in here. And I could drop an Expanding Force. I could definitely drop an Expanding Force. Or I can just go straight for an Astro Brush. I think Astro Brush is going to be your play. Just to chip up some damage onto the Palkia. And kind of go from there. Because I think he's going to pop a Trick Room, right? I think Trick Room is going to be his call. He's going to Protect. That's honestly fine. It's a good thing we did not go for an Expanding Force. I'm fine with that Protect. Astro Brush is going to come through. And now he cannot Protect the next turn. So maybe he thought I was uh, Max Air Streaming. Maybe he thought I was Air Streaming. But I'm just going to drop this. I think he's going to pop a Trick Room, right? Trick Room's got to be his play. Trick Room has got to be his play. Fly's going to come out here. And I'm going to dip out. Okay, so I'm going to dip out of here. And we're going to get buzzed. He's definitely going to Spore me, though. Definitely going to start Sporn. Spore is a problem. Spore is definitely a problem. Spore is definitely a problem. I mean, I could protect. He's obviously going to Spore me. Get but I think he's going to Dynamax here as well. I think he's definitely going to Dynamax. But I'm gonna just going to protect my Calyrex. See if we can get rolling from there. Kind of get after the battle that way. But dang. That's tough. That is tough. Because Amoongus in Trick Room is phenomenal. <laughs> it is ridiculously good. It really is. It really is ridiculously good, but it's probably holding the Koba Berry, which kind of scares me because then it's going to be able to really soak up a shot here. But uh, we're just going to protect your Calyrex. She's definitely going for Spore, right? Or yeah. We saw that coming all day. So it goes for the Spore. Palkia is not dying, Maxin. And I wonder what Palkia's going to do. She's going for the double down. So great protect by me. We're going to be able to pop a nice little fly. But again, Koba Berry's probably coming out. Amoogus just dodges it. Get out of my face. What you mean? Yeah, that's whack. That is whack. So I could fly again. Could dip out. I think I'm just going to wild charge into Palkia. And try to get off this speed swap if I can. And I feel like Expanded Force would be the play if we can get it off. Let's go for that. Probably speed swap would have been a play, but it's probably just going to spore me. Which we do not like. We do not like this, the yield spores. We do not like the yield spores. Spores <laughs> do. This is just so good. Spores just so good. Trick Room Amoongus OP, dude. I think he's uh, trying to think if he wants to Dynamax his Palkia. Because Pokemon, like, in the back end for him aren't too aren't too trick roomy ish you know sports gonna come out here he's gonna spore me i'm fine with that we are focused last year we're hoping that this expanding force can actually take him out earth power's gonna come in hot he's gonna go after my calyx calyx gonna say yo that's a tasty snack and we're gonna eat that one up so that thing is gonna show its orb which is nice so that thing is orb can we take you out with this expanded force please that'd be huge that'd be some huge that'd be, that'd be beautiful so expanded force comes through here we do not calyx you're better than that you are so much better than that. Uh, I could protect here. But I think it's going to be my play. Protect and just try to go for a, like a nice little wild charge here. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm just going to protect my Calyx. I'm just wasting out these trucking turns. We got Palkia down on low HP. We got Amoongus pretty low. We Silver Dynamax as well. Okay. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Definitely cool with that. Because I think a wild charge might be able to take out Palkia. Especially after... Uh, after life orb damage that he's going to take. He's going to take a little bit of damage. And then we're just going to wild charge him. He's going to withdraw the Moogus. A nice little withdrawal from the Moogus. And he's going to bring out Lando. Lando Bando's going to come out. That's not bad. The Lando's out in the battle. He's going to intimidate. That's going to proc my defy. If we wake up, you're dead. If if you if we wake up, you are a goner. You are a goner. Wake up. Wake up, dude. He's plus one now. He's sitting at a beautiful plus one. Which we really like. We're just going to protect the Calyrex. Hopefully another Earth power is sliding towards my Calyrex with this turn. That'd be beautiful. And now he's just going to drop a nice little spatial run. So bad protect by us. Probably should have uh, kept him guessing. And he's going to deal some nice damage. Can you wake up, please? Can you wake up? Come on, man. You're better than that. You were so much better than that. You were so much better than that. But at this point, uh, what do I do? Tough. It's tough. I think I'm just going to wild charge. And then roll into a uh, an Astral Barrage. That's my play. That's my play. If both these Pokemon go down, I think we're still thriving after this fact. He's gonna bring out this and we have Zassi in the back end and we know we know for a fact my boy Zassi can absolutely rip up That Lando with a behemoth blade No problem we can do it. No problem No problemo. No problemo. And then we also have Gashon on the back with a four times super effective move of ice beam. I don't like it. I kind of like it They might start taking some speed. We'll see what, how it goes with this one He's gonna go for another special Ren and he's gonna take out whoever he wants here So he's gonna take out you and he's just gonna pick up the easy double kill So easy double kill coming in hot I think there's one more turn left in Trick Room, right? There might be. Palkia's going to take some more orb damage. And Quake's going to fly through here. So Quake coming in hot. That's fine. So he Quake's up. He's going to get that special defense boost. And we're going to roll out the Gastron and Zassi. Gastron's going to have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. Gastro is going to have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. So, with that said... Hmm. 
That said, how many turns left in trick? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It is gone. I mean, that's kind of fine if he goes into trick room. Got my gastro. Got my gastro. I'm obviously just going to Behemoth Blade into Lando. And I, again, I think it just dumps him. I think it just takes him out, no problem. Lando hits like a truck, dude. <laughs> well, not Lando. It's asking. It's like an absolute truck. I had multiple battles where my Lando could not survive a Behemoth. So I'm going to say he cannot as well. But uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if this thing's attacks like fully boosted. Let's just check him out. It's not fully boosted, but still. It's a wicked attack. I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride with it all. Day. I'm just going to Behemoth Blade here. Oh, I can make the hard read. No. We're just going to Behemoth Blade. And you know what? We're getting after his Dynamax. And I could Quake. And I'm going to have to Quake. Hopefully Quake can take that thing out. Because I would love a nice little special defense boost for the squad. For the lovely little squad. Because he could max guard and go for a Trick Room. That could definitely be his play. And if he goes for it, he goes for it. It's no big deal. I still feel like we're sitting in a solid spot to win this battle, potentially. But he's just going to straight up withdraw Palkia and go into who? He's going to go into Zassian. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So I can definitely see a max guard, but we're still going to get off some big old damage with this uh, max quake here. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Get get big, Gasho. Get big, baby. Bulk up here. Get big. Get after it. <laughs> we love it. We love it. The special defense boost is going to come out here. It doesn't really do too much up against both these Pokemon because they're both physical attacking. But again, I'm hoping my Lando could just, you know, do his thing. I'm hoping Lando could just do his thing. Well, not Lando. I'm hoping uh, Zassian could just uh, do his thing and uh, take out take out that Lando for me. But I can see a Max Garden for sure. See what he does. He's not guard. Blade's coming in hot, yo. Take him out. Get rid of this dude. Tell him to go home. Tell him he stands no chance here. Nemeth Blade flies through here. That's no bueno. Airstream. Holy oh, airstream. So he's going to take a little bit of speed here. He's going to airstream into gash. That's actually pretty good for us. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. Do not mind that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to quake here. We take you out with this. It's gonna be a nice little quake for you. Nice lovely quake. Take him out. Beautiful. So special defense boost coming in here. Um, what he could actually do here could be going to Moongus and just rage powder. And at that that point, I would love to just protect my Zacian and kind of just go into a uh, hailstorm, try to get rid of the Lando. But we'll see. Cause I'm gonna need Zacian. Zacian poses a nice little threat. And he, ha he has speed with Lando, but still. That's what he does. I think he thought I was protecting that thing. Maybe he thought I was protecting, but yeah, I went for that Behemoth Blade, and it didn't take out. It did not take out. Like I said, there's been so many times where I got Behemoth Blade with my Lando out on field that I just got dumped on. So this guy has a nice little nice little uh, boost in the defense here. He's going to go on Moongus, and yeah, I can definitely see a Rage Powder coming out here. But uh, at this point, my best bet would just be Protect You. If he wants a Rage Powder, he can Rage Powder. I'm just going to Hailstorm. Did I take out the Moongus? I'm going to take out. I think I just take out the Moongus, right? Have the Buffet start chipping around. I'm gonna get rid of Lando. Lando's not gonna be able to kill my uh my Gastro. I don't mind taking out the Lando. I'm gonna go after Lando. Lando. Doo doo doo. But yeah, I, I think he's gonna potentially rage powder here. Let's see. We're gonna protect. It's asking the Gastro. I'm putting up a fight here. Putting up a real good fight. And he's gonna end up going for a quake straight up. So he's just gonna straight up quake into my uh it's gotta be into my Zassian, right? Yep, into my Zassian. I think he's looking to spore me here. That's looking ugly if he does spore me. But at least we still have Zassian. At least we still have Zassian. I could have taken out Amoongus, but uh, I feel like that. I feel like that. We're going to end up going for a Hailstorm. All he has left is Palkia. And I know my Zassian outspeeds up. Wonderful. So Lando goes out. He's spore me. Hopefully he's doubling down his Zassian slot. Hopefully he's doubling down his Zassian slot. And I'm not going to lie, Amoongus should be low on HP. We missed a fly earlier in the match. If you guys do not remember, we missed a fly. Who misses a fly? <laughs> like, a two-turn move should always be landing, you know? He's going to end up going for a Spore, and he Spores my poor little Gastro. How dare you? How dare you do that? Okay. So he Spores my Gastro. Uh, I really want to go after his Palkia, but I can read a Palkia Protect potentially, right? It could definitely happen. A Palkia Protect could definitely happen, so I kind of want to go into Moongus. But at the same time, I would love to take out Palkia because we know Moongus can't really do much. He's going to send out Palkia here. Is coming in hot. I'm special defense boosted. I'm special defense boosted, so it leads me to kind of just want to go into like try to get rid of this. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna try to get rid of that Amoongus. And if I can, I'll just do this. But I'm gonna be asleep this turn. Maybe Palkia protects here. Amoongus is just gonna rage powder shot. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're coming after you anyway, Amoongus. So Zassian's gonna go first here. We just couldn't afford a spore, and we need this Behemoth Blade to pretty much pick up the KO. Let's see how this one plays out here. We'll drop a nice little blade. Bop. 
later in Moogus. Cool. So Amoogus goes down for the count. If Zassi can eat up whatever shot he has to offer here, that could be really good for us. But again, we're plus on the special defense moves. We can go for EP. Can we eat that? That's coverage. We do. That's beautiful. Buffett's are going to chip us up. He's going to take some more damage. Buffett's going to chip us up, giving us one more turn left. Uh, huh. What do I do here? Is if he protects Buffett's, will KO me, but it might KO him. That's kind of close. That's kind of close. I mean, I can just protect him and waste this out, right? At, th at this point right here, he has no double hitting moves, so I got to double down into him and look to pick up the KO. But I think he just protects, right? At this point, I just go for a 100% accuracy move, take a sword him out, and then just uh, Earth Power Cross, right? EP or Blizzard. Blizzard's going to hit all day. It's in the hail. Let's see if he protects this turn, because he might protect it. And if he protects this turn, I am going to be asleep next turn, and then we're going to hope something else. But I guess he's not rocking protect. Sacred Sword comes in there. Bang, yo, your boy picks up a battle number one victory. Solid battle all around. It really was. We were, uh, he had the upper hand, but once we got out that Gaston and it's assing, we Dynamax and we rolled from there. Our opponent's team is amazing. Mono flying team with Lugia, Yvelto, Lando, Thunderous, Dragonite, and Tornadus. This team's looking amazing. I cannot wait to go after it, but you guys know I got to bring out my Rock Boy. My Rock Boy is looking like he's going to do some work up against them. So we're going to start off with a speed swap combo. We're going to get rolling out with those Pokemon. I definitely want to bring Thunderous as well because, again, they're all flying. So we're just going to be able to rip up some damage. And last but not least, got to bring my boy Zassian. Zassian's just a beautiful little Pokemon. Can do a lot of damage. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. But yo, that first battle, that was a solid battle all around. Went the distance. Got to show off the team pretty well. Had a solid battle. And your boy ended up picking up that win. But Mono flying. Mono flying over here. Looking purdy. Looking real purdy. What if he's gonna lead here? I'm gonna I'm gonna be dropping some rocks. I might just speed swap turn one. Just rock, 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 rock. <laughs> just get after the battle that way. Could be nice. Could definitely be nice. We'll see what he wants to do here, turn one. We shall see his first turn or who he's leading. Let's see who this guy or girl is going to lead. I'm gonna lead these two. Okay, so uh yeah, let's chop a rock. Let's get rocking here. Let's get rocking. Do 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 do. Do I take out Lando? Or not Lando? Do I take out uh, Tornadus or do I get after that Yvelts? I mean, the problem is whoever he swaps into, it's going to take some damage. <laughs> it's going to take some damage. But yeah, I'm just going to stun Dynamaxing. I'm getting after this. Rockfall coming in hot. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I don't want to go after Yvelts. He's definitely got a Tailwind. So he's going to be guaranteed to get off that Tailwind. You know what? I'm just going to speed swap from here. Do I even speed swap? I mean, if he Tailwinds, he Tailwinds. And he kind of takes speed regardless, right? Makes sense, right? He kind of takes speed regardless if he tailwinds here, which he's probably going to do. So I might just be better off doing this. That makes sense, right? Does In my head, it makes sense. All of his Pokemon are going to be faster than me in Tailwind. I'm not going to speed swap it. That makes so much sense, right? Right? Because if I speed swap, he's still going to be faster than me. So why waste a turn doing speed swap when I can just get off some damage? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so he Dynamaxes your belt. If I can land this Rockfall, we could do some work. <laughs> we could do some work on it. <laughs> It'll be beautiful. Uh, Let's see. He's got a Tailwind, right? He's got a Tailwind. There's no doubt my mind he Tailwinds. No doubt my mind he Tailwinds. Because if not, I'm going to be upset because then we could have just speed swap. Bang. Chopped him up real quick. But yeah, let's get this right here, Dynamax. It's definitely going to target me down with some Max Darkness and stuff. And it's kind of tough because uh, special attacking... Really does right period dirty because he is a special or a physical defense Pokemon, not special. Let's see how this one plays. And he does not! Yo, he does not go for the tailwind. He does not go for the tailwind. He's gonna brutal swing instead. A brutal swing instead. He's just gonna darkness here. He does not go for the tailwind. He's gonna take out my Calyrex. Okay. So speed swap probably would have been a play. I'm surprised he didn't tailwind. I am actually super surprised. You can get that special defense drop. And we're hoping this rock could just absolutely tear through, right? We're hoping this rock could just rip. Rock fall coming in hot. Get it. Life orb stab, super effective. Big old damage. Hyperion. I love you, dude. I love you. Wow, speed swap would have been the play. But I think I was overthinking in my head. As you guys know, when you're playing Pokemon, the simple play is usually the play. That was a great example of it. Simple play, I, I said it from the beginning, I should speed swap, but it didn't work out. We, 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 we overthought, which it was a good overthought. Like, typically, like, a like he's going to go for that, you know? He'll probably go for Tailwind this turn. He'll probably go for Tailwind this turn. And we're thinking he has Lando in the back, right? He might have Lando in the back end. So, Defiant Pokemon could be nice. <laughs> could definitely be nice. Especially if he wants to bring out Lando up against his Rhyperior. Could be good for us. So, we're going to throw out our Thundo. 
And he's gonna bring out Lando, Lando, Lando. Lugia. God dang it. Yeah, dang. Okay, so Lugia is gonna come out here. At this point, I'm dropping a rock. I and mean, I think that's all. I think that's all I have to do is drop rocks. We're just gonna drop some rocks. He's probably gonna tailwind. Uh, do I double down? Could double down Lugs. Could definitely double down Lugia, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I mean, if he's gonna tailwind, he's gonna tailwind. It's really not gonna. Like we can't stop it. And he's not gonna do too much damage, you know. It's not rainy. He can't pop hurricanes left and right, but he does have icy wind. But still, he, he already he, he, he can get speed whenever he wants with the tailwind. So I'm, I'll I'll just allow him to set up the tailwind. Like it's prankster. It's nothing we could do about it unless we had like a first turn priority move that end of Pokemon who was faster than him. We're just gonna end up with Draw and Lugia, which is totally fine. Who's he gonna swap into? Lando, maybe. It is gonna be Lando. So he wants that physical attack drop, but at this point, he's gonna proc Defiant. Defiant. So Thunderous is now plus one, but the problem is Thunderous is gonna get dodged. But my Rhyperior right can easily take out, easily take out that Lando. So bad swap by him. I think we're sitting in such a good spot. I think Rhyperior right is legit just gonna win us the battle. Right? <laughs> it's pretty much over with. So Rockfall is gonna fly here. Later, Lando. Get on out of my game. We're super effective to all. Actually, we do not pick up the KO. No way we don't pick up the KO. We just not pick up the KO. Luckily, Buffets are gonna come through here. Actually, no. He's uh, he's ground type. We did not pick up the KO. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, I could guard. But I'm not going to. Really? Rockfall didn't pick up the KO there? That minus one really doing me dirty. I can do this. I play all day. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna go for Hurricane. Hurricane Lance, if you get the ducks, I'm gonna cry. Don't duck me. He ducked me! Yo, what you mean? <laughs> this boy really just ducked me. And he's gonna get the flinch here too. Or just pick up the KO. I s do me dirty like that. I still have Zassy in the back end. He's gonna lose some life. Are we okay? Can you land this, please? I see, yo, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. <laughs> really, this game's gonna do me like this. I'm not worried about that Lando. I really am not. Oh, not the Lando. I keep calling him Lando. I'm not worried about the the, the thunders. Not the thunders. The the tornadoes. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about this little booger right here. This little booger looking a little scary. That's some that's whack right there though. Really got ducked on my last turn. Should be a 2v1. Should be a 2v1. I'll go for a rock wrecker. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cannot move next turn. It's all good. We're looking to get off some big old damage. I'll behemoth blade on this slot and we'll roll out. I dude, if we get ducked again. We are already ducked on Rhyperior's slide. Hopefully he can uh, snap out of confusion. But if he hurricanes my sassy and gets some more ducks, that would be awful. That would be awesome. He goes for a hurricane. Yo. 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 Thank you. Thank the Lord. He's going to EP over onto me. You should be able to soak that up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rock record coming in hot. Later, Lugia. Okay, so Lugia's dead here. That should be GG's. Unless he gets... Uh, actually, I don't know. Because uh, we have to deal with the ducks. You snap out of confusion, just so I don't have to worry about. Thank you, thank you, right here. Rock Parker coming in hot, big old damage, base 150. Send it later. <laughs> big old damage coming across. Buffets might be able to take it out, but if not, he's not going to be able to kill Sassian, and it's going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's. Wow, so a, a confusion almost lost us the battle. Coming in rough. Buffets fight through KO. He survives on one. He has one chance. He has one chance. Honestly. Actually, Sandstorm wouldn't buff it at the end of the turn. I was going to say I could just protect this turn. But I'm just going to Behemoth Blade. Again, he doesn't have anything that can really take me out. I think he just cancels battle, right? No, he's going to go for a Hurricane. Look look to duck me. He's looking for the duck luck. No duck luck. Cool. No duck luck. Behemoth Blade flies through here. We go 2 0. Oh. We can hop into our third and final battle and look to dominate and grab ourselves another perfect record. What a perfect team to showcase Rhyperior up against. We went up against a mono flying team, and I was just like, yo, Rhyperior. Get some work done. He was just rock fall, rock fall, rock fall, rock record. GG's. Get him on out of here. But there it is, yo. This little 2-0 record for us. We guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. We're going up against a Kai Ogre and the Alga team. So he could pop trick him if he wants. And then he has some heavy meta Pokemon like Grimmsnarl, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Zip Zap, Zippity Zap Deuce. Okay. Gastrodon, I feel like I want to bring you. But at the same time, it's just like Rillaboom's there. And Rillaboom's kind of annoying. Calyrex, you're definitely going to be my lead. I really do like you, Calyrex. 
That might lead, uh... I mean, he doesn't have any Tailwind, but he does have Fake Out. Oh, I could lead... Ooh, ooh. This is looking good. This is looking real good. This is looking real good. Little Indeedy. Indeedy, uh... I do like that. Indeedy and, uh, what's it called? Actually, I could do this. I could go Zassian. Or I could go Defiant. I might go Defiant. These two in the front, and then bring Indeedy in the back end? And then Zassian last? I really want Storm Drink Ashon, but at the same time, it's just like, dude. That what's called kind of annoying. That Robin. I'm gonna go in with these. I'm gonna bring Indeedy in the back, just in case he wants to go for, like, a fake out. When I can just, like, change terrain, or I can have terrain control up against a Robin. So I do like that. So instead of bringing the Gastrodon, we're gonna bring Indeedy. That's the only problem. Like, Gastron's phenomenal. If Robin wasn't in this game, Gastron would be OP, I think. It would just be a phenomenal Pokemon. It would be better than what it already is, because it's already super, super good. But Robin, Robin is just a huge meta Pokemon that really counters it. So he's gonna end up going in with these two. Defiant Procken. We love a little Defiant action. And I could, I might just, I could Dynamax here. Or I could Speed Swap. Ooh. I could Speed Swap that Dialga. Thinking he's going in Trick Room? That could be the play. Right? Do we think he's gonna pop Trick Room? I think a Trick Room's gonna be pop. I do think a Trick Room's gonna be pop. I do feel feel as that, right? I feel as the trick room's gonna be pop. I can just drop a lightning here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're plus one on attack. We might as well drop a lightning. Let's do it. So I'm gonna Dynamax. I think the trick room's gonna be pop. I think he's gonna try to go for a fake out. And go for a trick room. I, I don't not mind if he sends a trick room as long as I get off the speed swap. The speed swap would be enormous. Take his speed, have him pop trick room. Make him slowest on the field after Trick Room? Maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I'm overthinking right now. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but that sounds really good. Sounds really good. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he's not. No! No! <laughs> that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I'm going to have to speed swap back if I can. That hurts, man. <laughs> can you max guard, please? Can you max guard, please? We just gave him the fastest speed on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Overthinking again. Max guard. Does not. We're stupid. <laughs> We're stupid. It's rough. Go after Calyrex. No! We're stupid. We are stupid. We're gonna have to guard and take his speed back. We're not playing games. Oh, dude, that hurts. That hurts, man. That hurts a lot. We go into that and we chip up some damage. Probably, probably proc into Berry. Wow, we could have just Astro Barrage had this Incineroar dead. And now we're burned. Definition of pain, guys. That is pain. That is pain. Do we speed swap back or do we just go for a shot? We kind of we just gave this guy like the upper hand here. I'm going to go for a speed swap back. If I can do it. And I, I don't know. Try to grant some speed for us. Might as well. That, that, that. That hurts. Simple play would have worked again. Simple play would have worked again. He's just going to hard swap him. And hopefully he goes into somebody who's not going to fare too well to an airstream. Real boom. Rillies. Really comes out here. And Quake's gonna fly. Can we eat this Quake? I think we should be able to eat this Quake. Eat this Quake. Nice. So we're gonna get our speed swap back. And special defense boost is gonna go up. That hurts. That hurts, because now, now, we're, now we're trying to figure this out. Airstream's gonna come through here. Chip up some mean damage onto that. And then, uh... We're gonna take our speed back, right? We're gonna say, Ayo, can I have this back? Thank you very much. <laughs> so we kinda just wasted out our turns with the with Calyx. We're kinda just sitting here doing our thing. So we have some speed here. Well, I could definitely come out here. Or I could just change up terrain. What do I wanna do here? What do I wanna do? I could change up terrain, which I might actually do. Save my Calyx for back end. Swap you. 
change up terrain, and then I could just airstream again. Get a little bit of speed boost for my uh for my NDD here. Could be good news for us. But I don't I don't think a grassy guy can take out my uh, my uh my thunders, especially with the terrain gone. He doesn't get that boost. Grass damage boost. So this could be good for us. So this is exactly why we brought in NDD, because we're not dealing with this dang monkey. This dang gorilla with the drums doing his grassy guy things. We're changing up terrain, we're not having it. We're not having it. We're going to change that up. This first turn priority is gone. We are going to pop a little bit of Psychic Seeds. Sprinkle a little boost on our special defense. And he's going to... Oh, you biscuit! How dare you? He just ruined our plan. He's going to go an Ogre. But luckily, we're going to get some speed here. Uh, could you imagine if we were dropping a... Uh, if we were dropping a beautiful... Lightning. Then it would have been amazing. But yeah, we're going to Airstream over in this slot. We're still chipping up some nice damage. Even with this burn. The Defiant plus one doing us good. But now he's going to roll out with his uh, his last turn on his Diago. And he's just going to go for a Steel Spike. and probably take out my... Oh, no. He goes after you. Okay. He goes after you. And we'll cool with that. Because we got some speed on the board. Wild Charge should be able to take out Kyogre. No problem. And then I can just kind of just uh, go into a uh, Mystical Fire into that. Get that special attack drop. Kind of get kind of get going with that. Dig it. Dig it. Right? Wild Charge should be able to take him out. I think even through the burn. Wild Charge... Wild Charge is looking mighty fine. It's looking mighty fine. It is raining. So, I mean, I could go for a helping hand and just make sure that this KOs. But I don't know why I have, like, full support in this thing actually doing that. So, I'm just going to go into that, get that special special attack chop, and I'm just going to roll into this. Might protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He does not protect. Wild Charge. Let's go. Get after it. Should have helping hand it. God dang it, Jeans. God dang it, Jeans. Mystical Fire's gonna come out here. He's probably gonna pick up the double kill. But we have a lot of his Pokemon low. We have a lot of his Pokemon low. Which I do adore. He's gonna go for a Power Gem. He's gonna pick up the easy double KO. No problem. You're dead. And then maybe he'll miss an Origin Pulse. We'll see. But still, we have Shadow Rider Kyler. He's gonna fly in the back end. He has Incineroar who's already chipped up. We're just, we're, we came to play. Origin Pulse comes out here and it does end up connecting. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really do not think we're sitting in a bad spot. Dynamax is all over. It's gone have some speed i mean we have the speed actually we kind of just get more from there i'm just gonna astro barrage and double down into this uh diago right his defense boost will do nothing up against secret swords with it i'm with it i'm all about it all about it all about it but, yo solid battles today solid battles today. winner or lose this one solid battles i said he has an instant war in the back end if he goes if he goes instant war that's fine He's gonna intimidate me and we'll probably take it out with it. We're, like, he's low on HP. He's, I think he's in red, right? He's super low. So I'm just going to take a sword here. Just Astro Barrage across the board. Take out Kyogre. Probably take out Dialga here as well. I'm thinking. I, but I think he swaps, too. I think he swaps. He's going to swap. He does not swap. So, easy double KO, right? Should be an easy double KO. Kyogre's going to go down to this. But we are going to get a Grimnade boost. Oh, Grimnade boost is going to help us out tremendously. Because we can't be faked out. So, Grimnade boost it. Dacian. Show Diago what you're made of. Take him out here. If he takes him out here, we're sitting in such a good spot. Big time KO. Big time KO. So we're plus one on both my Pokemon. He's gonna bring out Incineroar and make my guy neutral, but Astro Bosch should just be able to just, just go. Just bring us just bring us home. Should be able to just bring us home here. Should be able to bring us home. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon. There's the Incineroar. And then did we see his last one yet? I don't think we'd have. I don't think we have. Oh, we have. It is really Oh, but he gets the gets the terrain. He gets the terrain. Uh Hmm. What's my call here? Not about rolling. This kind of scares me. Um, I'm trying to think. So he can grass guy take me out. Um, I can eat up a fake out. I'm fine with him faking me out. I really am. I could just protect this turn. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I can definitely see Grass Guy coming in hot here. So I protect. He goes for the fake out. Yeah, like I said, we can eat up this fake out all day. And I think this is what he wanted. I think he's gonna glide here, yeah. So he blocks. As long as I get rid of this oh, boom, I think this 1v1 situation is gonna be super good for us. He's gonna have the Grass Guy again. It's raining. I do not see Incineroar really taking me out with a Flare Blitz. So if I can just get rid of this roll boom with Behemoth Blade, I can outspeed and just take a sword just win this battle easily, right? So I'll blade here. I mean, I'll go for an Astro Barrage if I can land it. And we'll kind of just roll off from there. 
Oh god, yo, this is scaring me a little bit. Nice little protect from us there. Nice little because if we didn't protect there, he takes out my my thing, my uh horse, and then it turns into a 2v1 situation. So Grass Glide is gonna fly here. He's gonna take out Calyrex, no problem. Yeah, Calyrex gone. Zassy's gonna go, he's gonna behemoth blade, and like I said, we can outspeed it and eat up whatever he has to offer. And oh dude, the unnerve came out there. I was wondering where his berry was at, the unnerve, but still Sacred Sword should be able to should be able to take him out. Sacred Sword should be able to do enough damage. We're going in with this. Uh, send it. And it is raining, so he's not going to do a lot of damage with his Flare Blitz. So Behemoth Blade, thank you very much. See you later. And like I said, Sacred Sword, it, it, we should be fine with that. Flare Blitz coming in. Should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah, we might be able to soak another one. It's going to take recoil damage as well, which helps us out. The recoil comes out here. Rain is gone. All that has to happen is the Sacred Sword has to do its job and take out this Incineroar. I think we got it. I think we got it. Another perfect record? It's looking good. It's looking good. It is looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy Zassy in is the best. Zassy is so good. He's too good. Take a search flying here. We outspeed. End it. End it. Perfect record? Perfect record. Sounding good. Looking good. It's feeling good. It's looking good and feeling good. If it tastes like it, if it smells like it, it must be it. So it tastes good. It feels good. It smells like good. Must be good, right? <laughs> it must be good. <laughs> Sacred Sword coming in hot. Take him out. GG's. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Another perfect record. That's back-to-back -back Sword and Shield perfect records. Let's get it, guys. Perfect record coming at you, guys. That is how it's done. And more importantly, we got to show up each and every Pokemon in the battles. We got Calyrex out there plenty of times. Zacian, obviously. Thunderous was doing some work. Gastron got some jobs done. Indeed, he came in that final battle. And my peer dominated in battle number two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.